fans. A couple of fans cheering me on. Hey guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am making a vegan omelette. Yes, I can do it. I can do it by using chickpea flour, a genius thing. Chickpeas are just an amazing ingredient, especially for us vegans. Now you see me using chickpea flour quite often if ever I'm sort of coating something in breadcrumbs. I uh, recently coated uh, my Glamorgan sausages in breadcrumbs and I use the gram flour mixture. It's really, really handy, but you can actually make a really good batter-like consistency and almost make an omelette. Well, you can, in fact. And here's the recipe, it's in my book. So I'm gonna be making it exactly like this today. So let's get straight into it. So I really love Moroccan-y, North African flavors. So I'm gonna flavor up my omelette with a few things like Razal Al Hanout, which is an is an incredible spice blend, and you can get that from good supermarkets nowadays. So first up, uh, I'm actually gonna make the filling, which is just, I've just chopped some red onion, and I'm gonna chop some more veg. To one finely chopped red onion, finely chop one red pepper. Cut around six cherry tomatoes in half. Preheat a non-stick frying pan. Add a touch of olive oil to the pan. If you don't wanna add oil, just add water. Allow the pepper and red onions to soften. So now it's time to make the all important omelette batter. So I've got some chickpea flour, and to it I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it really, really flavoursome and obviously add some Moroccan-inspired flavours. To the flour, add a pinch of Razal Al Hanout, a pinch of ground turmeric, a pinch of cumin, a pinch of cayenne pepper, a totally optional ingredient, but I'm adding some nutritional yeast. I'm also gonna add some smoked paprika. Give the mix a little mix together. Add a pinch of salt and pepper, then add enough water to make it a pancake batter-like consistency. Use a whisk so you don't have any lumps. So when the batter is smooth, I'm just gonna get that in the fridge just to rest for a little bit uh, whilst the onions and peppers are cooking. I'm also gonna add some olives to my filling, so I'm gonna cut some green olives in half. Add the peppers and onions to the filling bowl. So the filling's done. As you can see, I got some spinach in there as well. We're almost ready to cook our omelette. And this is the perfect brunch, lunch, dinner, or even breakfast. Just so you can sort of just alter the spices according to what uh, time of day you're eating it. Uh, I really like this brunch. And you can, you can add different spices if you haven't got Razal Al Hanout. Add something like a Cajun mix or a jerk mix. Just add whatever you like to it. Um, it's really versatile. So let's get that batter. Give your pan a quick clean out, then light it over a medium heat. I totally forgot, but I needed to add some baking powder to this, so I just added a pinch, and that's gonna help it rise. So don't forget to add that. Remember, the full written recipe is in my book. I have it right there, so I should never have forgotten to, to not put it in. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan. This batter does have a tendency to stick, so make sure you have a really non-stick pan if you're not using any oil. Or you could line it with some greaseproof paper. When the pan is hot, add the batter. Quickly add your filling ingredients. Scatter them around the omelette. This is definitely a fully loaded vegan omelette and it's starting to rise. And now the underside of this now will be golden. So I'm gonna get this under the grill. Make sure your pan that you're cooking it in is oven proof. Don't go put in anything with a wooden or plastic handle inside your oven under the grill. It'll just melt the handle and it'll be a terrible thing. That is a very good point. You can also do this without cooking it in a pan. Just line a baking tray with some greaseproof paper, pour everything into it, top it, and get it into the oven and let it bake. Um, you're not gonna have a nice caramelized bottom on it, but it'll still be really tasty. Caramelized bottom. <laughs> There is my vegan omelette. Look how cool that looks. It's lovely and fluffy. I can't wait to dig in. And I've got some beautiful hummus 
and some salad to top it with. So let's do that now. There's my chickpea omelette, Moroccan inspired with beautiful fla Moroccan flavors in it. And finally, I'm just gonna serve it up with some nice avocado sliced on top. So the sort of thought behind it would be everyone shares it, digs in with a little bit of hummus, get some rocket on top as well. So everyone digs in, has a slice with a bit of hummus on the side. I just can't wait to give this a try. And I just wanna say, I'm not the first person to do uh, a chickpea style omelette thing like this before because there's a famous dish called a soaker and uh, it's very similar. It's basically a chickpea batter cooked in a pan or in the oven, uh, similar to what I did, but uh, I haven't seen it with the Moroccan in in flavors in infused into it like I've done, but I can't wait to give this a try. It looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna tuck in and give this a taste. Mm. So happy I came up with this recipe and put it in my book. It's that good. It's so fluffy on the inside. It's got a nice crisp edge around it. Uh, olives pop, tomatoes pop in your mouth. All the spices work beautifully. And uh, I did put a bit of fresh thyme on top because I forgot to put it in the actual mix, I'm sorry. Um, but it works really well on top as well. Really try this one, I promise you it's great. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, share and comment. Hit the bell if you want to be part of the notification gang. My Christmas book is out now and also you can get my uh, Vegan 100 book on, in all the bookshop stores. Thank you so much for watching. Razel al Hanout. Mm.